Dear and welcome for new presentations in ease and different radiology. I am Dr. Issa Ibrahim, consultant radiologist. And today our appointment number 24 from Tips and Hints. <coughs> Actually today I cannot talk about the gastric ulcers. Uh, uh, mainly I will talk about the benign gastric ulcer. So let's start our presentation today. The learning objectives from my presentation today is how to define different anatomical parts of the stomach by peri and meal. Uh, then uh, I will talk about the features of suggestive benign gastric ulcers and the features suggestive malignant gastric ulcer through uh, the different peri imaging of the, uh, these uh, post two uh, types. First of all, the perium uh, meal uh, normal uh, of the normal stomachs appear like this image. Uh, the patient is drinking the uh, perium solutions, and uh, uh, this study is can be done in single uh, uh, technique or double uh, contrast technique like this one. Uh, this one is double contrast because there are air and uh, uh, and fluids, and the air can be uh, uh, make the uh, mucosa is more uh, distinct and can be defined the mucosa better than the single uh, one. Well, the anatomical parts of the stomach, this one is uh, representing the fundus of the stomach and the lesser curvatures is uh, appearing in the medial aspect, the greater curvatures in the lateral aspect of the stomach and the body of the stomach, this one. And this arrow is referred to the angular notch between the uh, gastric body and the antrum. So this part is the antrum, so which is distal to that angular notch. And uh, that arrow is referred to the pyloric canal. In the pyloric canal, the duodenum starting after the pyloric canal, and this part is referred to the duodenal cap because it is, looks like the cap of the duodenum, and the first part of the duodenum, second part, third part, and then the jejunal loops uh, uh, will be uh, continuous with the uh, filled with contrast uh, uh, consequently. And this is a spot imaging for the duodenum. Uh, the duodenum is characterized by this C-shaped appearance. And uh, when we make a, a spot image in the duodenum, this characteristic C-shape uh, is uh, defining it. And uh, these are referring to the lesser curve of the stomach. And uh, that one is referred to the antrums, which is starting here. And after that, the pyloric canal at that region. After that, the duodenum can be starting by its different uh, uh, parties. So the duodenal cap on the top of the duodenum, first part, second part of the duodenum, which appearing vertical and uh, opening in it in the medial aspect is the uh, ampulla of vetters uh, uh, of the common bile duct and the pancreatic duct. And the third part, which is returning again horizontal to making the fourth part and continuous with the jejunums in the uh, left paraspinal aspect. So this is a rapid review for the anatomy of the gastric parts. Now we will talk about the main uh, part from my presentation today, which is talking about the gastric ulcer. The gastric ulcer is the most uh, uh, common questions which you should be answered when you detecting gastric ulcer by barium study. Is this ulcer is benign or malignant? So the features of the benign gastric ulcer, the first one, outpouching of the ulcer crater beyond the a gastric uh, contour. So, exoluminal uh, positions of the uh, ulcer is one feature which characterizes the benign. Uh, the second one is a smooth, surrounded, and deep ulcer crater. The third one is smooth gastric folds that reach the margin of the ulcer. Then, the uh, very characteristic signs for the uh, benign gastric ulcers, which is called Hampton's line, and then uh, more often uh, this is uh, most locations of the benign gastric ulcers in the lesser curvature side and the duodenum. So this is the main five criteria which is defining the benign gastric ulcers and characterizing it uh, uh, from the malignant ulcer. Let us talk about each point uh, separately and in details with the barium imaging in the next slides. 
For example, this is the first criteria which defining the gastric ulcer. As we see here, this is a double, double contrast study of the stomach, and this is the lesser curve, this is the greater curve, and this region is the angular uh, insular, and this is the pylorus. So, this one is referring to the gastric ulcer, which appearing as a pouching of ulcer the creator. This is the ulcer creator, which is pouching beyond the gastric contour. If you going like this, this is the gastric contour. So this is uh, beyond the gastric contour and this one is considered a features of the exoluminal locations of the ulcers which is a features equal to benign gastric ulcer <coughs> The second feature of the benign ulcer is the curator, and the curator is meaning like this uh, opening which have an edge, and the, uh, this is the uh, stomach which appearing in diagrams, and this is the regions of the pylorus which is showing the two gastric ulcer, and these two gastric ulcers in the antrum uh, is uh, uh, forming as a curator, as this one, which is referring to as a hole in the uh, uh, surface, and uh, this is which appeared here in the double contrast study the wool is filled with contrast and the surrounding edema of the wool appearing uh, lucent and the surrounding that crater so this is the meaning of crater the smooth of these craters or uh, ulcer crater this one is referred to ulcer crater and this one is a crater in the earth smooth surrounded <coughs> and deep ulcer crater uh, meaning uh, features for the benign also gastric ulcer so smooth crater and deeper of it is referred to the <coughs> benign form of the gastric ulcer. Again, if you look to this crater, this is a crater which appearing smooth, and there are another features which characterizing the benign gastric ulcer, the folds which surrounding the crater. And this is the greater curve again, this is the lesser curve, and this is the angular, and this is the antrums between the, these angular uh, depressions and the uh, greater body and the greater lesser curve of the stomach. After that, the pyloric canal and the uh, pylorus, as well as the duodenal portis. So so this ulcer the, uh, the regions of the junctions between the antrum and the body of the uh, stomach and the radiating folds here is smooth gastric folds that reach the margin of the ulcer so if these folds which are being uh, reducing here and reaching to the edges of these ulcers or greater so when reach, reaching to this ulcer uh, uh, is meaning is a sign for the benignity. So smooth gastric folds, this one which is radiating and labeled by the red uh, label here, is uh, smooth and reaching to the surface of the crater is a feature, the, another feature for the benign gastric ulcers and the characterizing the benign gastric ulcer from malignant ulcer. The, the other features which is the most famous one which is called Hampton's lines and Hampton's lines appearing in this view and this view is tangential view or lateral view uh, uh, which is showing the ulcers on profiles like this so this is the ulcer which appearing out pouching from the wool of the uh, stomach so this one is uh, one feature for the benign itself which is called exoluminal and the, uh, there are uh, line here and this line is appearing lucent at the edge of the stomach and this line is referred to the edema which occurring in the wool and this edema is appeared like a, a cooler so it is called the thin cooler uh, uh, line or Hampton's lines this is another name for that which appears here as one millimeter thin straight lines at neck of the ulcer in profile view so this line is called Hampton's line, sometimes it's called thin cooler line, and this ulcer is called the niche in profiles which appearing exoluminal. Hampton's lines in gastric ulcer, thin straight line at neck of the ulcer in profile view, which uh, represents the thin rim of undermined gastric mucosa. So these lines which appearing really recent here is called Hampton's lines, and this one is featured for benign gastric ulcer characterizing it from malignancy also. Again, this is the uh, ulcers which exoluminals, uh, and this is featured for uh, benignity. And this line is the Hampton's line due to edema at the walls of the, uh, the stomach wall. And this one is featured for benign outpatching of ulcer crater beyond the gastric contour. And this one is the Hampton's lines which also features for the benignity. And all the features of benignity appearing in this image. Uh, 
so this uh, uh, all the features of the parenti or helping to diagnosing the parenti i think teaching by this way can help you to make fewer mistakes to differentiating benign from a malignant gastric ulcer uh, however what is the features of the malignant gastric ulcer so uh, uh, i want to finish my presentation today uh, by uh, that features of malignant gastric ulcers but actually my presentation is talking about the benign gastric ulcer only the features here uh, you can uh, remember it it is uh, uh, opposite to the other features of the benign ulcer so it does not protrude beyond the gastric contour in the lumina this one features irregular and shallow ulcer crater a needular gastric fault is that don't reach to the ulcer margins and the Carmen meniscus sign this is one sign which also characteristic for famous signs characteristic the malignant gastric ulcer uh, on top of benign the uh, other features is the uh, locations it more at the greater curvature this is dependent on the ulcer itself uh, and the Carmen meniscus signs only I will mention it in this image to finish up my presentation today as we see here this is the ulcer and the ulcer have uh, uh, communications with the lumen and this uh, surface is uh, or this lucency is representing the malignant uh, uh, tissue inside the stomach inside the lumen and the ulcer also in the luminal not outside the lumen this is the wall of the stomach and this is the ulcer inside the mass which appearing radiolucent or filling defect inside so this uh, sign is called the uh, Carmen meniscus sign it describes the lenticular shape of perium in uh, cases of large and flat gastric ulcers in which the inner margin is convex toward the lumen so the inner margin of the uh, 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 of it is convex to the lumen this is the mass and the ulcer also uh, which it appeared in the luminal and this is features of malignant gastric ulcer which can be easily uh, mentioned and they can uh, have a famous sign which is called the Carmen meniscus signs when you see the Carmen meniscus signs in image it is equal to malignant gastric ulcer I hope I provide you with clear knowledge about the uh, basic differentiations between the benign and malignant gastric ulcer at the end I uh, uh, you can watch more than 145 presentations in my sites in YouTube and easy and different radiology you can search by in Google search or you can uh, uh, search in the uh, Facebook also I have one group by the same uh, name and all the presentations are uploaded in this group thank you very much for your watching don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel to uh, uh, get uh, new presentations in the future uh, as soon as possible thank you and goodbye